Hello everyone, welcome back to Angela's Craft Room. I've come to you today to do a card with you with one of the very new stamp sets, Lift Me Up. This is a fantastic stamp set. It has 16 images and it is available in Australia from January 2017. Um, it's one of the new stamp sets and also you can get the matching framelets, sorry, thinlets, these are the thinlets, because it does have that one beautiful big balloon that's very intricate and I have cut that one out and it is just so easy to cut out with your precision plate, just pops out and then you just use your foam brush and foam pad which I've shown you before how to use that and so you get quite a few um, framelets and that one big thinlet in there so you get how many do you get you actually get 14 so you know you could really build up a card and make several different cards for that so for this card today I've pre-cut just to save some time because my tutorials it just seems very hard to keep them to the 30 minutes so they're the two stamp sets, the stamp set and the thinlets that we've used. Now this is a card that I've already made. We're going to use the same techniques but we're going to just make it a little bit differently. Um, I've sponged this background using the Stamping Up Brayer and then I've obviously stamped and used my Big Shot to cut those balloons out. These little um, hearts, they actually come from the new embellishments, Sending Love, and they're fabulous because they come in a plain wood and then what I do is whatever colour I want them to be, I just get my tweezers, pick one up and I just dip it in pad it onto my stamp pad and then in this case once they've dried I've just added a bit of clear Winker Stella. I don't know if you can see that but that's a tip for you because that way your embellishments can be any colour you want them to be so whatever you know colour scheme your card or project is you can make them the colour that you want them to be. So I absolutely love those new embellishments and they are available from January 2017 in Australia as well. So we'll get started. Pop that one over there. Now to start with you'll need a base which is my base is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and then I've scored it at four and a quarter and then use my foam folder to fold it down. Now my first mat that I'm going to use, I've used I've used Sahara sand and I've already embossed it um, with the Boho Chic. And that measures, that's going to go straight on there. And that measures five and a quarter inches by four and one eighths of an inch. Okay but we're not going to adhere that quite yet. So we'll just pop that aside. Then I've got a piece of shimmery white and that measures three and a half inches by four and a half inches. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do the background using the soft brayer, okay? So I'm gonna start from the top because this Oh, this must be still a little bit wet from my last card. I did dry it overnight. It should be all right. Um, okay, so yeah, as I was saying, we're going to start from the top and work down. Now, just we're not going to be putting any green down the bottom as land because the balloons are up in the sky. So it's basically b blues and a little bit of pink pirouette. So we're going to start off with Soft Sky and um, 
doing this technique this way it's best that your stamp pads aren't very juicy because if they're if they're very juicy um, you just get too much ink on there so I've just put that there so hopefully you'll be able to see how I do it so I'm just going to sponge like this in one direction like that now you mightn't think there's any ink on there but there is so just sponge it roll it in one direction if it is too juicy just um, if it is too juicy just roll it onto your ink pad a little bit and we don't want this to be a really strong color because we're going to use a sponge and put in just a bit of definition and this is very light That's how we want it. You should be able to start seeing some ink coming onto the paper now. But it leaves a very, and it's just don't. Um, press hard on your roller and you'll notice that I do one motion I'm not going backwards and forwards you've got to go across pick it up and come back it's just I've done this so many times now it's just second nature to me if you go if you're rolling backwards and forwards you'll leave some nasty marks okay so I don't know if you can see that but there it is there is a slight tinge of blue on there so I'll we'll just pop that aside for a minute now I know my pink pirouette is quite juicy so I'm going to be to clean it off all you need is to roll it on your grid paper and you can buy the grid papers from stamping up I wouldn't be without it so I'm just going to roll that Now we don't want the pink to be overpowering, we just want a tinge, mainly up in the top part of the sky. And remember our balloons are going to be up there anyway. So we'll just that that's enough of that. So I might just come back in just with a very little bit of sky blue again. Soft sky, sorry, sky blue. Where did I get that from? So I'm just gonna go a little bit over that pink pirouette and that's what I mean you can't it's just this is a lot quicker than sp when you're sponging a large piece of paper like this it can take me a good half hour just to do my sponging because sponging isn't something you can rush so by doing it this way it's just a quicker so then what we're going to do 
from the layering scallops I mean the layering circles framelits I've just cut out one as you can see I've already used it on my other card and we don't need the brayer anymore so what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to get a sponge now when I get my stamping up sponges they're a real big round sponge and I just cut it in quarters and then where it's pointed at the top I just pinch it so you've got that rolled piece and when you first start using them when they're new it's a bit harder now there'll be a fair bit of ink on there as you can see so I'm going to just start down there a little bit I'm going to sponge on my circle and I'm just wanting to come off the circle a little bit It just add, it's just going to add a little bit more colour up in that sky. Not really happy how that So I might just leave that for now and actually even though I said I was finished with my brayer I might just grab it and just put a little bit of pool party over the top of that. just going to leave a bit of definition in your it's just going to leave a bit of definition into your sky once we've got our balloons on there you won't you won't be able to see I 
it will stop playing the more I play the longer it takes just to show you the technique I've used so I think we'll have it up that way then what I'm going to do is add here I think I'll adhere this to the emboss piece first like that Now, because this is this is embossed, what I've done is I've put some tear and tape on the back, because because of the rigid rigidness of the um, coarseness of the after we've embossed it. Um, if you just was to put snail on this, it's not going to adhere as well as tear and tape is. But the only thing with tear and tape, you just gotta be you've got to be sure when you're putting it down because the only thing is once it's down, it's down. It's a very strong, it's a very strong um, adhesive, but I find it excellent when I'm making my boxes and gift bags and also when I'm like in this case putting it putting a layer onto the embossed image so, we want it up that way now I, now I worked out that three dots each side is the center And then to about, I'm only eyeballing this. So hopefully that will be approximately the centre. It's not going to come off so then what I'm going to do I've got a little piece of the lace trim which I need to put this on first so just see where I want it approximately because then this is why I didn't put the I didn't stick the um, emboss piece straight onto my card so I'm just going to put a piece of tear and tape across there. It's the best thing to use when you're um, adhering lace. And if you've watched my videos, you know that I don't put lace on the front. I don't put adhesive under my lace and ribbon on the front of my card. I just wrap it round and then adhere it to the back. So I'll just do one side. So I know that it's going to it's going to be straight. That's pretty straight. Mm, maybe could just come up a little tad. And another thing is that you could use your stamping pad and actually change the colour of this um, lace. I've done that before to give it more of an antique look. Just sponged it or just put it into your ink pad using a sponge. So you can see 
I don't put any adhesive under the front of my lace. I've ad adhered it only to the back. Okay. Now we can put that onto the front of our card, which we will need. We will need tear and tape because we're adhering lace as well as an embossed image. Now another thing that you could do to add dimension to your card is the new foam strips from Stamping Up you could actually I could actually have put the foam strips under this layer to lift it up from my card a little bit more. The reason I didn't do it was because it is an embossed image and I wasn't sure whether the foam strips would be strong enough. So we're just going to take that off. This is only the second card I've used um, with this new stamp set and I'm really loving it. It's just so easy with the um, thinlets as well. And you'll you'll see there's going there's some really lovely new stamps coming out. Absolutely gorgeous they are. And some new other products. And I'll just put just put a piece down the middle. And we're sure that it's not gonna I just find using the tweezers it's a lot easier to lift that that up so I'll just press it down like that Okay, so now we can bring in our card and I just like to put it, the card across the top on one of the um, lines on your grid paper. You've got more chance of it being straight that way. Now I just put the top piece down first to see how much room I've got at the bottom. Because this, I've cut this, so it's going to be quite a snug, snug fit. Because as I say, once you've got that tear and tape down, you wouldn't want to have to try and lift it up. So it's best to take a little bit of longer time. So that's the front of our card done with a little bit of sponging with the brayer. Now the fun part comes where we're going to position our, our balloons. And I have cut out, aren't they just so cute, some little clouds. And then I've adhered a dimensional on the back. So I'm just going to add a couple of little clouds. I have got a big one. Let's see where I want it. Don't want them too much in line with each other. I'll put him about there, I think. So we'll 
pop him down from the little one, the other little one. And then we're going to just pop him up there. So he's got a couple of dimensionals on the back of him. You don't, as you saw, I didn't, um, I didn't use the clouds in the first, in the first um, card. Then I'm going to put. This is cherry cobbler stamped on soft sky. So if we put him about there. And then this is chocolate chip stamped on Sahara sand. Actually, I think I'll pop that one on that side. The chocolate chip goes really well with the embossed image. Just push him up there a bit. It won't matter if they overlap a little bit. So we'll pop that one there. So I'll just get my snail. I only put dimensionals on. And I'm sorry if I'm off camera, all I'm doing is putting some snail on the back of my balloon. That's all I'm doing, so you're not missing out on anything drastic. Let's get that one out of the way for a minute. Now I want that one pretty much right over. Like that. Then I'm just going to add snail to the back of this one. So this is the cherry cobbler stamped onto the soft sky. Just going to bring him down a bit. Like that. Then I'm going to. This one's got, remember the little ones we put dimensionals on. Pop that one there, and that one doesn't matter that it goes over the lace a little bit, like that. Now I've already done my sentiment from that stamp set, Love is in the Air, and I've popped some dimensionals. So I might just have to pop that. I might put the that the um sentiment down first so where I can see where I can put my balloons. Sticking to my fingers. And you could sponge round the sides of these round this sentiment before adhering it if you wanted to. to be fairly straight then we'll just take the dimension just peel off 
that layer of the dimensionals. So you can see by um, using the thinlets, you can just add so much dimension to your card with this stamp set. Like I wouldn't recommend it without And then we just got to put that one down there. I will. I would highly recommend that you get the framelits with the stamp set because, yeah, I just love the hot air balloons, and I think this is going to be a very popular stamp set. And with the clouds, and you can see like how we did the. Um, I might just overlap that one a little bit. How we did the background, even though a lot of it is covered, even though a lot of it, even though a lot of it is covered, it's um, where it's not covered. It's got different colours in the background. You can see a little bit of pink and Bermuda Bay, and soft sky and then what I did was I did the inside which I'm which the inside I cut a piece five inches by three and seven eighths and I've just put a couple of the little balloons inside with the sentiment so I think that's a really lovely card to try let's get all my scraps off let's turn it over to a bit cleaner where we've been sponging so yeah so uh, oh, one last thing is um, I do like to add a little bit of um, Winker Stella just to the really dark dark spun dark stamped colors is what I'm trying to say so you can see that's really dark across there. And that's why I say this Winker Stella, it just it just um, adds another bit of dimension. And you've hardly got to put any on. Just adds a little bit of sparkle. Okay. And if you if you really wanted to add more embellishments, what you could do is use the pearls in the jewels, pearls that you can get from stamping up and you could actually put pearls round those loops that that are visible like that okay so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial this was the first one I did and then this is the one that we've done this is the one that we've done today so I hope you'll give those um, techniques a try and just by adding that lace and dimension, dimensionals to your card and embossing it just adds so much more dimension to your card rather than just a flat card. So if I will leave all the links below to my online store if you're interested in purchasing this stamp set and the thinlets or up to you whether you want to cut out the balloons but it is just so fast with the big shot and the and the thi and the thinlets that they've provided to match this stamp set so until next time i look forward to sharing another tutorial with you happy crafting